Hey everyone, I'm about to chat with Matt Friction of the pop punk band The Pink Spiders. The band formed in Nashville, Tennessee in 2003. Currently the band is gearing up to hit the road with the Dolly Rots. We will be chatting about their 2018 album Mutations, touring with the Dolly Rots, and more. Could you start by introducing yourself? Uh, yeah, it's Matt Friction from the Big Spiders. This weekend you're going to perform at the 25th anniversary for the Vans Warp Tour in New Jersey. What are you looking forward to most? Um, yeah, we did two summers on the Warp Tour in 2006 and 2008, so I'm pretty familiar with the whole fiasco as it is. Um, it's just a whole lot of fun. It'll be kind of weird to do it just for one day. Um, in my mind, I'm kind of preparing for it as if it's that traveling punk rock circus that's you know all day every day back to back but um just looking forward to you know being in Atlantic City and gambling and being on the beach and you know seeing a bunch of old friends how do you feel about the whole tour ending by the way <laughs> um I guess you know kind of mixed emotions like I uh, haven't really followed it just since we have really been touring for a while so um, I hadn't followed it as closely as, as I had you know the mid 2000s but you know it's it's an institution and you know um, it'll be missed so last year you released your album Mutations can you tell me about the album and your time in the studio and then is there a favorite song yeah um, we made Mutations um, and we started working on it 2016, kind of around the time we, we did a reunion show um, for the 10 year anniversary of the Teenage Graffiti al album. And uh, it was supposed to be just a one off thing. And kind of surprisingly to us, there was a lot of demand and a lot of people came out for that show and there was kind of a lot of excitement around it. So, um, so we're going to some new songs and some music. And then by 2018, had it all wrapped up. We tracked it in Nashville, which was actually the first time we'd done that since our first album, Hot Pink. Um, all the other albums had been done in New York or LA or Atlanta or somewhere else. Um, so that was cool, just doing it like down the street in East Nashville with some friends. Um, in terms of a favorite song, uh, probably Black Dagger, which actually was the first single, it was probably my favorite song of that album. Um, it was one of the older ones, it was a couple of years old, that it kind of been reworked a few different ways and finally seems like we got it right for that recording. I know you've been touring a bunch since the album came out, but have you been working on writing new songs for a follow-up? We are going to put out a single this fall. It's like a two-song single. Um, we've been kind of debating whether or not we want to do another full album or just kind of singles. Um, and so I think we're leaning towards that right now, just being able to put out more new music more often rather than like the whole album cycle thing seems to be kind of a dated approach where you put out 10 songs and you tour on those 10 songs for a year and a half or so. I don't really, really I don't see bands doing that as much. Um, and it's just kind of gives us some flexibility since we're, we're kind of doing everything ourselves these days and releasing music ourselves. We just can, can put out stuff whenever we want to which is kind of nice yeah I saw you did like a, a thing where the fans just donated money to make the record I forgot what it was mm. uh, crowd I yeah, forgot the word Kickstarter. <laughs> um, yeah we crowdsourced it with Kickstarter but a lot of I see a lot of bands doing that now yeah it's awesome way better than being on a label <laughs> yeah <laughs> um in a few weeks, you're going to hit the road with the Dolly Rots for the Pink and Black and Fun All Over Tour. How did this tour come about? And I think I saw that you've done a few shows with them in the past, but never a tour. Yeah, we've, we've known each other and been kind of mutual fans for, or the other of each other's bands for a long time. And uh, I guess it kind of started because they, we were on tour and they left us a note on one of our posters, I can't remember where it was, I think Cleveland maybe, to 
so Dolly Rod's love you. I was like, oh, I love that band. I miss them. And um, we kind of started keeping in touch, like, you know, messaging and emailing and stuff. And, you know, we kind of had been talking about it and just not being able to find a, a time that worked for both bands and a, a route that worked for everyone. And then finally that happened with um, our agents got together and they were like, all right, these dates, these cities, and everyone was like, yeah, that's awesome, we can do that. So, um, yeah, it's been a, a labor of love. Uh, it's been the making for a long time. Do you have any tours in the works for after this tour? Because I know it's only a couple weeks long. Um, right now, we're going to try to figure out what, how we're going to do this single. So that's kind of the main focus. Um, we're doing Fest in Gainesville, but that's not until like late October. I would imagine we'll probably do another short run um, in the fall at some point, but um, yeah, nothing concrete yet. Uh, what has been your greatest memory so far in your career? Um, I don't know, there's a lot to choose from, I guess, in terms of my, my favorite memory. Um, we played a show in, at Dodger Stadium in the outfield after a Dodgers game, which was a big deal for me. I grew up a Dodgers fan, and we had to sing Take Me Out to the Ball Game in the seventh inning stretch on the dugout. and I do a bunch of cool stuff with that, so that was pretty special. Um, I, you know, the, all the big tours were a big deal to me because we'd done it on such a low scale for such a long time that um, it was nice to actually be able to do it like the real way, <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah, and, you know, the, the original showcase was kind of just a pretty life changing moment to the Viper Room show. Those are probably the big ones for me. And since forming the band, uh, how do you feel the music has changed and where do you see it heading in the future? Um, I think it just changes just from, you know, having a different perspective and being a little bit older. Um, I don't really write with any intention to kind of change. I'm really still trying to write the perfect Pink Spider song, um, which is kind of hard to describe sound, but I think it's pretty, like, definitive in my mind. Um, yeah, I write songs in other genres for other things, but, like, this band has its sound, and yeah, probably will just keep doing the same thing and try to get better at it. What would your dream tour be? <laughs> like, who would you like to tour with, In what country or countries would you like to tour in with them? Um... You know, in a dream scenario, obviously, like, somebody like Cheap Trick or The Clash in a different era, but uh, in present-day reality, um, I don't know, I mean, Dolly Rod's tour is pretty close to, like, a dream tour, um, you know, and we're going to be playing small clubs, like, I guess in my mind, if it was us and the Dolly Rods and maybe, like, Damone or somebody like that, then they were, like, you know... That would be cool to get Damone out on the road again. (laughs) Yeah, Damone's one of my favorite bands, and I'm glad they're kind of toying around with with doing some more stuff. I know they have a show coming up, so I hope that they make more music, too. Um, A lot of people wish that they would. Maybe one day they'll do it, and then you can all tour together. (laughs) Do you have anything that you want to add or tell your fans? Um, no, I hope we see them at Wolf Tour, and if not, we hope we see them on the road in July and August. And it feels like we were just on tour, but when I look at the calendar, it's been half a year, so we get to get back out there. Thank you for taking the time to chat with me today. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you to Matt Friction for chatting with me today. Be sure to check out the Pink Spiders on tour with the Dolly Rots in July and August. For more information on the Pink Spiders, head over to thepinkspiders.com.